Hey, what up? It's Ty1822 here to review WWE Monday Night Raw. So Raw kicks off with John Cena inside of the ring in the steel cage. John Cena saying, why? Why would the WWE Universe vote 3 on 1 last week when the Wyatts took on John Cena and took John Cena out? So then you start hearing, you got the whole world in your hands. Then all of a sudden, I'm thinking, Sister Abigail, people on Twitter are thinking the same thing. No, it was a choir of a bunch of kids singing the song on and on and on and on. It was so creepy and cool at the same time. So the kids kept singing along. So then you had Bray Wyatt and the rest of the Wyatt members come out. And Bray Wyatt is singing, singing the song with the kids. And all of a sudden, you got all the kids and she matches singing the song. This was so cool right here, man. And you know, Bray Wyatt was still singing along with the kids. He had one kid on his lap, Bray Wyatt laughing. It's a segment. Great way to open up Monday Night Raw and to build up John Cena, Bray Wyatt. All the stuff right here. One of the best segments in a long time. This is something you've never seen before, man. That was very cool right here. Great segment of Monday Night Raw. The Tag Team Championship match, the champions Uso versus Rob Bank and Curtis Axel. Rob Bank and Curtis Axel attacked them last week. This match was surprisingly good right here. The Usos retained their tag team titles. Shane Miz, you know, came out, got attacked by Titus and They had a match. Titus and Nils continued to beat down Sheamus, but Sheamus defeated Titus and Nils with the bro kick. Dolph Ziggler is inside the ring. You know, he brought out Hugh Jackman in the upcoming movie. Wolverine, love X-Men movies. Wolverine, my favorite X-Men character. Um, so, you know, he's talking about, you know, he did a lot of things, you know, Hollywood, but nothing compared to being for uh, a lot of audience at Monday Night Raw. This was a flashback video of him punching Dolph Ziggler in the face when um, Zack Ryder defeated Dolph Ziggler. But he, he made peace, shook hands. Then you have Damian Sendow come out in a Matt Needle outfit. Hilarious stuff right here. You know, then he started acting like he was able to control Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is playing around. Then Hugh Jackman gave uh, Damian Sandow a hip toe. Dolph Ziggler gave him the zigzag. Funny stuff for Damian Sandow in that <laughs> Matt Needle outfit, man. That's funny stuff right there. Jazz Swagger versus Cesaro. Before the match started, Paul Hayden was like, let's play knock knock. He said, knock knock. The crowd said, who there? Mike. Mike who? My client conquered the street. Great stuff by Paul Hammond. Paul Hammond had me in tears. Paul Hammond is one of the best, man. So the match, you know, it was a short match. So Paul Hammond, you know, grabbed Zach Colt the facial hair. And uh, Jack Swagger was trying to uh, break that apart. This is all his um, Swagger with a, uh, what was a uh, German suplex to get the one, two, three. Cody Rhodes versus a uh, versus the real versus the real was looking very pale <laughs> on Monday Night Raw. The versus the real made Cody Rhodes tap to his armbar, and Cody Rhodes once again got mad and gold dust. So soon they will break up soon. Alex Rusa with you know Lana, Lena, whatever her name is. Woo! I love her leg. Mm -mm -mm. That's one her legs around my neck. Oh, do head scissors to me one day, please. That's what we're asking for. Versus, um, uh, what's my, uh, Xavier Woods, uh, and his qualification because our troop and Xavier Woods went attacking him. And it will be a match between those three guys, the handicap match. Who's going to dominate those guys at Extreme Rules? I was shocked about a pre show match, but it has something else in store for a pre show. 3LB versus, uh, Lost Matadors, uh, 3LB. Defeated Lost Matadors and Horace Wild and El Toria, whatever his name is. El, El Toria, El Torito. I think it's El Torito. They would have like a mini ladder match, which should be funny. I will take a look at that because I was a huge fan of Midget Wrestling back in the day in WWE, my favorite, Mighty Max. No, Max Mini, my bad. Max Mini. I messed his name up. Max Mini. Stephanie McMahon. Now, she wanted to apologize to Brian. For what happened, you know, last week when Kenny took him out with three two stones. So Stephanie apologized. Then he brought said, you know, I do not buy your crap, Stephanie. So then he was like, you know, my wife Bree, she had to, she had to go through all this crap. But I told her, no, I can take care of this. And Stephanie said, I know what you're talking about. I know what Bree been through. I've been through this with my husband Triple H. So then Stephanie, um, was saying, you know, Kenny Mass 
desk, it's in my uh, locker room, my office, nothing going to happen. So, you know, then she wanted to give Brie the opportunity to face Paige for the Divas title. She said, I know Tamina is number one contender, but I will give you a shot at the Divas title. So, you know, Paige and Brie Bella had her match. Okay, match. Then Kane music hits. Then everybody wonder where Kane get. Kane come under the ring, trying to drag Brie Bella and drag her inside, whatever he was at. Do you say he dragged outside or inside? He was trying to drag her inside. Well, no, no. He tried to drag her under the ring. I'll walk my lesson. No, I can't get that right. So Paige Hall ass. So then, you know, Danny Bryan was attacking Kane, attacking Kane, attacking Kane. And then Kane pushed him off. Then Danny Bryan got a monkey wrench, hit Kane with it. And then Kane got it like the old Kane from back in the day, 98. So then, you know, Bryan going for the wrench again. Kane chokeslammed Danny Bryan. Then he pulled in Brie Bella again, trying to get her under the ring. Brie Bella escaped with the referees, and Kane looked like a monster. Thank you, Dunny, for making Kane look like a monster again. Wade Bear versus Rob Van Dam for the match. Wade Bear was saying the last time RD was in the Continental Champion, he was in diapers. This was a good match right here. So you had Cesaro come out to uh, mess up Rob Van Dam, uh, five star frog splash. You had Jazz Swag come out there too. So uh, RBD uh, went for the five star. Wave Bear put his knees up. The Wave Bear hit him with the elbow. Got the one, two, three. Wave Bear is headed to the string rolls to face Biggie for the Intercontinental title. You had Jack Swagger and Cesaro going at it. So you know then Cesaro was down. RBD took out Jack Swagger. The RBD gives Cesaro the five star frog splash. I don't know what they're gonna do with these three guys out here, but you had you no know, them going at it. So we like to make a true threat match at the string rolls. Of course, I know what they're going to do with, you know, Cesaro and Jay Swagger. We already know. But what are they going to do right then? We'll see. The main event, Brilliant D. Orton versus Roman Reigns. And all of a sudden, you know, you had Evolution talking earlier. You know, same old promo. Then, you know, the light match going to start. And all of a sudden, you hear, woo, Ric Flair. So Ric Flair coming out talking about the day the horse and being on the road. And it looked like he was talking about Evolution, you know, like, yo, down in the stable, and all of a sudden you look at the shield, and it looked like you know he put over. He it looked like he was like, okay, the shield, y'all are next. He put over the shield when I when I was thinking he put over evolution, but he wasn't. So then you know the, the match happens. You know match didn't last long, and then the spotification you had uh, Triple H, Matisse attacking the other members of the shield. It looked like once again evolution was like beat down the shield once again. They had upper hand at first, but then the tables turned. The Shield ended up taking Evolution out. Roman Reigns gave Triple H the spear. Uh, Randy and Matisse got some chairs, but they weren't able to use it. Then the Shield got their hands on the chairs. The Shield looked very strong. Can't wait to see the Shield versus Evolution this Sunday in Extreme Rules. And this tonight, Go Home Show from Monday Night Raw was an okay show. Not a terrible show, just okay. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I am out. Peace.